All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, today, we're going to be talking about Google Cloud Print or how to print from a Chromebook, um, the way to share printers through the cloud. So the first thing that you have to do is you actually have to be on a physical computer that is connected to a printer. So you can't start from your Chromebook. You need to start from your desktop computer. So go to that computer wherever you are actually connected to printers or mapped to printers. And that's where you need to start. So give me just a second to switch over to that computer. And okay, should be able to hear me now. And let me share my screen. There we go. So here is my computer in my office. And I started by opening up Chrome, the browser. The way that you do that is from your start menu, you may have a Chrome icon there, or it may be on your desktop somewhere, or in all programs, in Google Chrome. So you've got to start by opening up Google Chrome, and then you want to go to the district homepage. From the district homepage is the link to sign in down at the bottom, Google Apps. When you click on there, it'll take you to the login page. Now I'm already logged in, so it's just going to direct me into my drive. But you've got to start by signing into your Google account. Once you've signed into your Google account, then you're actually going to come over to your three little lines in the top right corner and come down to sign into Chrome. I talked about this in my first Appy Hour on Chrome the browser, but we're actually signing into Chrome itself. It'll bring me to another little sign-in page, password, and now I'm signed into my Google account and signed into Chrome, the browser, and it gives me a little message. You're now signed in. Awesome. So once I've signed in, then I come back to those three little lines and come down to my settings. And in my settings menu, then I come down to show advanced settings and scroll down here to Google Cloud Print, and I'm going to add printers. So I click Add Printers, and Chrome automatically recognizes the printers that this computer that I'm sitting at is connected to. So the Xerox machine out in the hallway, the little desk jet here in my office, and then these other that are digital print options, which I'm going to deselect. All right, so I'm going to connect to the Xerox and the printer in my office, and then I say Add Printer. And now I am connected to those printers, all right? I can then go into manage my printers if I want to and see those printers that I am connected to. And I've been working with lots of different things, so I can see now that this is owned by me. I am connected to that one. And the one in my office here owned by me thinks that they're offline, which they're not. I just turned around to check. but. Um, also, was working on sharing printers at Palm Desert Middle School. So anyway, here are my printers showing up now. So if I go into my drive and, uh, you know, I want to, oh, I don't know, find a document to print. And this is still all on my desktop computer. When I go to the little print icon, I can change my destination here and actually select under Google Cloud Print. It's pulling my local destinations because I'm on a desktop, but I also have my cloud options, and then I can print you know, to the computer in my office, technically through the cloud, even though I don't really need to because I'm hardwired to it. All right, I'm going to cancel that. Come back over here to my cloud printers. If I had closed that, I could have come down to my settings back to advanced settings and manage my print settings which will get me back into where my printers are okay print jobs and my printers all right now if I want to manage my printer I can also share this printer hold on just a second it's looking like I have more printers on the next page I want to make sure I get here it is. This is the new one that I just added in. Sorry, I'm adding and deleting printers back and forth so I can do this correctly. So here's my active printer that I just added in my office, and I'm going to share it 
and then you can put in your students' email addresses here. You can share it to the teacher next door and try it out. Um, I'm going to put in my personal and share it. All right. And so now I just shared this printer to my personal Gmail. Uh, I was trying to share it to myself and print for my Chromebook. It was just giving me a hard time. So shared it to my personal. So now I'm going to jump back over to my Chromebook and show you what it looks like. All right, give me just a second. All right, can you hear me? Here we go. So now, back over on my Chromebook, and I'm going to do a screen share. Okay. So here we go, and now I'm going to pull up from my Chromebook. Notice the bottom is different here. You know, I've got my pinned tabs down there. Signed in on my Chromebook. Here is a document, okay? And I'm going to come up to my little print from my Chromebook. Change my destination. Ah! Let's see if it, I'm going to say not now. Let's see if it'll show them there. Change to my cloud print. Let's see, will it do it? Will it do it? without going through my email. Let's see, let's see. My new printer. There it says, Sally wants to share a printer with you. So you just tell your students, go like they're going to print. When they go to print a document, select Cloud Print Setup. It'll bring them in there and it'll show them right here. They have a new printer. And then you can accept when it's being shared to you. All right, and now it's print right here. So I'm going to print. Oh, sorry. Come back. Again. Change it. Hello. Come on. Well, print. Of course. Now it doesn't want to behave. Let me cancel this and try and print it again. All right. Now I've connected my printer. Print. Apologize for this. It's oh, because I'm going back and forth between my accounts, and it's just not happy with me. Here we go. Now I'm pulling up Google Cloud Print. There it is. Print this document to the printer in my office. Print. There it goes. So now connected to my printer through Google Cloud, printing from my Chromebook. I can hear it printing back behind me. Now the only thing that you have to remember is to actually have the computer that's connected to the printers on. So jump back. No. Doesn't want to show my face. I was trying to get it to bring it back to me so you could see my page printed out over here. Oh, there we go. Here it is. You can see, I actually printed in my office. So once again, you have to have the printer that is connected, excuse me, the computer that is connected to the printer turned on. So if I turn off my office computer, I cannot print from my Chromebook. I'm using my office printer as a go-between. So it's going from my Chromebook to the cloud, through my desktop computer, and to my printer. So if this com office computer is turned off, I cannot use the cloud print. All right, so you can't print from home on your Chromebook if your teacher computer in your classroom is turned off. It's got to be on. All right? So thanks for sticking with me through this. I hope that you are able to set up cloud print. Any questions, just let me know. And uh, have a great afternoon, everybody. Okie doke. Bye.